hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to do this easy and quick diwali soft glam makeup look which looks absolutely stunning and if you like simple and effortless makeup look then this is the look you have to go for so if you would like to see how to do this makeup look then please continue watching so first things first i'm moisturizing my face with neutrogena retinol oil and i'm dropping this directly onto my face and i'm massaging this well into my skin with my fingers and i was a bit hesitant on trying this oil but this product is so lightweight not at all greasy and very clearly helped my skin to look healthy and beautiful and this actually became my go-to facial oil and i also included this in my nighttime skin routine and in just a month i saw how young and less wrinkly my skin looked and i would highly highly recommend this then i moisturize my lips with eos lip balm in dream Reeve to hydrate my lips well then i'm taking this beautiful revlon rose glow illuminating primer and i'm dropping few drops and i'm applying this all over my face it has such a nice pleasant rosy scent that isn't overpowering or overwhelming it dries a bit different than my other primers not so much tacky but more like a slightly damp feeling and it makes the perfect base for makeup to be applied then i'm taking garnier skin active facial mist and i'm spraying this all over my face just to add that extra hydration and love to my skin and it feels so good and refreshing then i am taking the mixture of two foundations first i'm taking few drops of mac face and body foundation in c3 and then two to three drops of nyx total control drop foundation in golden caramel on back of my hand and then i'm applying this all over my face starting from the center and this mixture of foundations gives you that beautiful dv and medium coverage which is perfect for daytime looks and if you are looking for a lightweight medium coverage foundations then consider these two foundations these are really really great then i'm priming my eyelids with l'oreal paris concealer in cashew and i'm blending that out with my damp beauty blender to make the eyeshadows to stick to properly and for the colors to pop as well then to set my eyelids i'm taking l'oreal paris translucent setting powder and i'm lightly sweeping that all over my eyelids with my real techniques foundation brush this makes the eyeshadows to blend smoothly then i'm taking rimmel moisturizing lipstick in the shade kate and i'm applying this all over my eyelids and you can totally use any lipstick on your eyelids but make sure it's not expired and this is a beautiful soft pinky nude color that i was looking for for my eyelids and i'm blending that out with my finger just to spread that out to make it smooth then i'm taking these two glitter shades called barb and cupcake from anastasia beverly hills amrezi palette and i'm applying this right on top of the kate lipstick on my eyelids and i'm dabbing this gently with my finger and the color payoff will be super super good if you apply with finger rather than a brush then i'm taking these two beautiful shades called passion fruit and russet from sigma warm neutrals palette and i'm applying this to my crease as a transition color with my zoviva 227 soft definer brush so i am blending that well and also slightly extending that line towards my outer corners of my eyes and i'm applying this along my lower lash lines as well and i'm connecting the extended lines from the lower lash lines just to balance out and also to add some depth then i'm taking these two shimmer shades called charmer and beaming from the same sigma palette and i'm applying this to my brow bone as a nice subtle highlight and i'm going over with the same crease colors and just making sure all the eyeshadows are blended into each other and there are no start and stop lines then to conceal and highlight i'm taking the same l'oreal paris concealer in the shade cashew and i'm applying this under my eyes in the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose cupid's bow chin and sides of my mouth and also where i have acne spots to cover and i'm all blending that away with my damp beauty blender and i'm going kind of ott with my under eye highlight because i want my under eyes pretty highlighted and if you don't want to use this much concealer under your eyes then it's totally fine but 
I really like bright under eyes when I'm super super tired and this concealer doesn't feel heavy or cakey. Then to set those concealed and highlighted areas, I'm taking L'Oreal Paris Translucent Setting Powder and I'm sweeping that gently on those areas. And this powder does a pretty decent job. If you need a mattifying blurring powder, then this is your friend. And also the texture is very light and feathery. Then with L'Oreal Paris eye pencil in the shade aubergine i am tight lining my lower water lines then with clinique kajal in black and black i am tight lining my upper water lines to create the illusion of having a thicker lash lines then i am taking l'oreal paris brow artist pencil in the shade brunette and i am filling in my brows and if you have thick eyebrows but like to fill in the sparse parts to give a more polished look to your brows then this brow product is definitely for you and the pencil itself goes on super smoothly and i have never had any issues with the tip breaking or blocky eyebrows or anything like that and i absolutely love this pencil then i quickly popped on some falsies these are huda beauty number 20 jacqueline lashes then i'm taking l'oreal paris voluminous mascara in carbon black and i'm gonna go and kind of blend my actual lashes and falsies together and i'm also applying this to my lower lashes as well and this makes the whole eye look put together then to contour and slimmen my face up i'm taking maybelline bronzing powder in the shade vacation bronze and i'm contouring the usual parts of my face where i would like to sculpt my face to make my face look chiseled and sharp and I'm going over with my beauty blender just to blend the lines seamlessly and prevent the obvious color change in between my highlighter and concealer. Then I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Berry Bay which is a beautiful fresh pink color and I'm applying this to apples of my cheeks and as you can see how plump my face looks after the application. Then I'm taking Zoué highlighter in the shade Skinny Dip and I'm applying this to high points of my face and this is a beautiful champagne color that I'm obsessed with and it is super super pigmented so go easy with the application and if you did overgo like me then tone it down with some setting spray so i'm taking urban decay all nighter setting spray and i'm giving my face a good spritz of that and it helps in melting down the powderiness and all nighter spray has a life of six months that's very long and it is hypoallergenic and lasts up to 16 hours and works on any type of skin tones and skin types and these are the beautiful embellished fringe drop earrings i'm going for before taking this rimmel exaggerate lip liner in the shade rose quartz and i'm not only lining my lips but also filling them in and this pencil feels super soft and blends easily without bleeding then i'm taking kawagal Katy perry lip gloss in the shade kate Lope. And I'm applying this just in the center of my lips. And then finally, I'm setting my whole face with L'Oreal Paris powder just to make sure everything is in place and nothing moved. And this, you guys, is the makeup look complete. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And the button is just right here on the screen and it's absolutely free and also like this video if you do and i'll see you guys very soon bye